from the depths instant tutorial. You're watching Jimodism's instant tutorials and today we're going to make a paddle wheeler or a uh, steamboat thing. But we'll say paddle wheeler because steamboat isn't accurate. This is not a steamboat, it's like a demarauder basically. So now that you know what I'm actually talking about, we are going to start building. Go to new blueprints and find yourself a hole if you don't want to build one yourself. I'm just going to plop down this hole here and well that will be the hole we are going to use. So we're just going to replace some of the backside here for increased uh, durability as we are going to uh, put the paddle wheel system onto here. So there we go. We're now gonna create a little beam like that and here will our little paddle wheel thing be installed. Now the placement of the paddle wheel is quite important. If you will put your paddle wheels in the middle of the craft, in the middle of mass center, there is a risk that the paddle wheel might actually make the bolt tilt so that the nose goes up and the back goes down a lot. In order to not make this happen, you can place the paddle wheel at the further back of the craft, in the very back of the craft. If you do that, the paddle wheel will have to lift the entire craft in order for it to actually tilt up. So that is much more stable, like the rotational force will be kept at bay by putting it at the most back. An even safer way to have your paddle wheel is to actually have it in the very front. If you build your paddle wheel in the very front, the boat will actually crawl forwards and it will actually be even more stable than having it in the back. And of course you can have several paddle wheels for really high speeds, but if you put it in the front it will be really safe indeed, it will have a very low chance of tipping over. Uh, however, if you do that, keep in mind that the paddle wheel might get uh, susceptible to enemy damage and you will might die, but you know, that happens. So let's construct the paddle wheel. What we're going to do is go to sub objects and select a spin or turning block like this. And you'll just put it here and you need to build in this weird little angle. We're just going to make a simple little metal axle here. And on top of that metal axle, we're going to build a wood framework. And you can build it so it goes flush against the hull like that and it will exactly be able to spin around. It can cut those small tiny corners there, so that's fine. When shaping like this, you can press backspace in order to be able to place blocks in the air like this until you connect them, very handy. So now we need to add the paddles. Go to water and go down here to the paddle section. We have the paddle and the articulated paddle. The articulated paddle makes it so that the forces put onto the vehicles are only forwards slash backwards. All our other forces that might cause some you know, weird motions are removed. However, in terms of stats and speed, from my tests, both of these are basically identical. There is a very small difference. The articulated paddle is a little more smooth and the normal paddle is a little less smooth. But the difference is really small, so you should probably go with articulated paddle. But I kind of like the little bumpy motion we get with the normal paddle. And now you might wonder, in what direction should I place my paddles? Well, um, I, I did some tests and it absolutely doesn't matter. Uh, put them in whatever direction that you feel like today, um, that looks best, because how you put them doesn't matter for performance. Like, you can do like this, it's absolutely fine. That said, it doesn't hurt to put them uh, in a cool way like this. And of course, uh, you can have paddles all over the place. You can fill this entire section with paddles. But these are quite strong actually, so we're just going to begin with these four sides here. However, uh, we're just going to test the speed of it. So we set this to continuous just to test and a spin rate like that. There we go, without engines we are reaching a 9 meters per second as propulsion. Very nice indeed. 
And here is where the articulated paddle can do more for you and be easier to set up. You kind of see we get out of the water here. If we go into the spin rate control and just drag down the speed a little bit until a nice level is reached, now you can see that our speed actually went up even though we are spinning slower. Uh, so with articulated paddle you get less of those up and down motions. Anyways, we are slapping on some rudders for control and we're just going to pop down a basic AI. So having some basic AI and detection, watch my tutorial about that if you want to know more, we can just set up some behaviors. Broadside is probably good for this one and set a vehicle type to water and set it up to maneuver as a ship or tank. And that's it. Now we just need to go to this little thing here, go into the spin block, you can see the spin block inside of here. Select it and now we're going to set it up, spin rate control, just click reset and then you have forward backward here. Set this to, let's see here, have it slowly to kind of see, okay. Set it to back one. Anyways, so we just go and set the spin rate control and this particular one is set backwards. So set it to a value that makes it spin um, reasonably fast, but if it spins too fast you might get out of the water and then you need counterweights and stuff like that. Like this boat is too light for having this on max. And in this configuration it's absolutely useless to add engines. Um, if you want to have a free craft that uh, is going about with free energy, here we have a great setup and you can leave it at that and just be happy. However, we're going to add an engine and make this go real fast. So uh, let's add an engine. I'm going to go to prefab mode and load up a really efficient engine we made in an earlier tutorial that uh, just doesn't burn very many materials. And inside of this craft we also need to go to resources and add a good couple of fuel boxes. We'll add a big chunk here to make sure we have enough. If the wheel is too powerful, it will do like this. And what you can do then is to go to paddles and exchange them to articulated paddles and it might solve the problem. Not most of the time though. This means that the placement of this paddle wheel is wrong, so we have to move it. To easily do that, Go to your paddle wheel and save it as a sub-object, like that. Try to estimate how high up you want your paddle wheel. I think I'll need it around four blocks higher up. And make a new little frame where we can put it. Go into sub-objects and load it. And then you just plock it down there. And here we can see it works better, but we actually need it one block further down. Like that. The placement of the paddle wheel is one of the most important things. If it goes too deep, it will dig itself down and basically sink the entire craft. So, let's see here. We have 452 power. We can see how much power we can actually utilize. We can probably keep this to um, actually one, maybe a little bit lower to utilize some propellers for stabilization or anything else that we might want. So there we have it. It now goes 20 meters per second instead, spinning along pretty nicely. And of course, if you want a visual effect of it going slower, then you can do like this, set it to motor drive 10, and then you'll just have it, you know, back, but select a lower value, like, to something that you kind of like. Now you can see that it spins slower, but we're still basically moving at uh, the same speed. While you can make it spin slow and use more engine power, it is less efficient, so only do that if you really want it. Otherwise, just leave it at top spin rate and adjust the motor power uh, to it. Well, other than that, add some cool blocks, add some other cool weapons, uh, watch my other tutorials to add nice weapons and just uh, have fun. And well, that's basically it. Hope this little instant tutorial made you be able to create that marauder feeling when you want it. 
and do keep in mind that you can make paddle wheel boats really, really quick if you want to. So until next time, this is Jim Adesim, signing out.